As part of this section, we will continue understanding further concepts related to DML and also get into the details related to partitioning tables. With respect to DML, earlier we have seen how to use load command to get data into the table. Now we will actually focus on insert command primarily to get query results into the table. We will start with introduction to partitioning, then we will see how to create tables using Parquet. As our source files are text files and as our target table is Parquet ta related table, we cannot directly use the load command to load the data into this uh, table which is defined as Parquet table and hence we have to use insert and we have to use the approach of uh, using a stage table. We will see how to insert data into this Parquet table using the stage table. Then we will actually get into the creating partition tables, adding partitions to the existing partition tables, loading data into partitions and also inserting data into partitions. These are the topics which we will be covering as part of this section. This section is very very important and also a bit advanced unless and until you have gone through the previous sections and understand some of the concepts if not all you will not be able to get value out of this so make sure you go through the previous uh, sections before coming into this. Unlike Hive, Spark SQL does not support bucketing which is similar to hash partitioning and hence I will not be covering uh, bucketing as part of this section. However, Delta Lake does. Delta Lake is a third party library which facilitates other additional capabilities such as acid transactions on top of Spark Metastore tables. It is out of the scope of this course and especially with respect to CCI 175 certification, Delta Lake is not relevant at all. Let us make sure that we have orders table with the data as we will be using it to populate partition tables very soon. So I am just taking care of some prerequisites here before actually getting into the topics related to this section. First I am creating a variable called as username and then I am actually launching the spark session so that the spark object is available for us to run queries using the magic commands at a later point in time. Then I am using this uh, use ITVST retail to connect to the ITVST retail database. I am validating whether we have tables already. There is a table already and hence I have to drop this table. I cannot now create the table. I am just dropping this table called as uh, orders here. Also first I have to connect to that uh, database. I have already connected so I don't need to run this use uh, ITVS retail again. I can just run drop table command like this and then we should be able to run this command to create the table. At any point if you have confusion about uh, database to which you are connected either you can say select current database which I have covered earlier as well like this or you can actually specify the database name while creating the table itself. You can say database name dot table name like this and you should be able to create the table in the database directly without switching to that database. Now the table is created let me run the load command to load the data into the table and let me run this count command to ensure that it is returning the results. As we are ready with the orders table let's get into the details related to partitioning inserting data into the table using query results so and so forth.